Yo guys, it's Hodge. I want to just make this video about um, proof of weekends and I want to just focus on this graph right here. So we can see right here guys, yeah? You can see right here, I don't want to zoom in anymore because I want to keep the size nice. I suppose I could tilt it slightly to the side but you know, I want to keep it like this. Looking at this graph, you can see between Saturday the 17th and Monday the 19th, you can see it kind of came into a dip. So if we put that as our starting point of our trend line, and then it starts to go up into a pyramid type of shape and then starts to flatten out again. And that flattening out took effect at about March the 25th. So if we put that as our second trend line pointer, you can then see from one point to a second point, you can see right now we've come away from that and we're kind of lifted from that pointer on the 25th of March so we're lifted and now what I'm expecting now of course what you can ex what you expect is another thing but realistically looking at the way it's projected and the way it's going it's had a nice lovely bounce it's got some nice space which is away from the trend line so in effect it could go sideways it could go sideways until it hits that trend line again and then does another pop. I mean, we are seeing a lot of pops. Now, that could be how it could have taken effect, but at the same time, it could also just, you know, continue with the buying that we're seeing at the moment and um, continue to lift off the trend line. But it's had a nice lift off the trend line. And I'm thinking, right, okay, looking, if you imagine that little lift as its own separate trend line, it's still on it, but, you know, potentially could be getting a little bit tired, might want to break off it, might just come down a little bit, and some people may want to consider taking out some profits, but at the same time, this is proof of weak hands, so, you know, that's probably, won't be that short-lived, and I think it could just pop down slightly, and then start to flatten out, and then of course some whale will probably come in and pop it up again. I mean, this is a this is an upward momentum trend. There's no two ways about it. And to be fair, I don't care if it does come down because buyers you make money, sellers you make money, and those people who are coming in right now, and let's say if everyone sold, they're going to end up with the whole bag of P3D ether, and they can take it home with them all that ether. So yeah, I just wanted to talk about this one particular graph now. It's interesting how the first initial wave of increase between the 19th, Monday the 19th and Wednesday the 21st, it literally was a stellar increase and that was the first real take up. And then it kind of consolidated and now we're in that third, first, second, now we're in the third take up. So there was a first take up, then it started consolidating, then now we're in another take up right now, which is nice to see that take up right now. And... Um, all I can say is, you know, this take up is as strong as the first one. It really is. And um, who knows how long it can continue for. And, um, you know, I'm looking forward to seeing where, you know, that continues to go to. And um, like I said, I'm in it all the way. So I've got no intentions of taking my P D3 and converting into Ether. But I hope you like that video on this historical chart this is based on the sell price by the way which um, is pretty much the same as the which is pretty much a reflection of the buy price just slightly lower so it follows it in exactly the same manner but like I say looking at this it's a beautiful trend line it's lovely to be in with a in with a token which has a trend line like this especially with the times that we're going through at the moment with Bitcoin down and everything but it's nice to see that all right guys so I love I hope you like that video and um, I'll talk to you soon okay adios